better. Governor, um, philosophically, um, some people have said that th this is now at least the beginning of reversing what some people see as 30 years of, of income inequality or just general inequality uh, in the country. And everybody agrees on a humanitarian basis. We'd love to cover everyone. Everyone would have health care. Do you think that deep down your, your party knows that perhaps our long-term growth rate could be hurt, but we're willing to accept that? To, to live in a different type of society? We've chosen a different type of society, well, more you know, akin to Europe? Fred, I think that depends how you measure growth rate. Uh, it is, the inequalities is a problem, and it has been exacerbated over the last, say, 20 or 30 years. years. So the question is, in a, in a democracy, where does the right balance between those at the top, who are 20 uh, percent of the people do most of the consumer uh, spending and so forth and so on, and those at the bottom. And it, I, I think it has, when it gets out of whack, as it did in the 20s and it has now, you need to, need to do some redistribution. This is a form of redistribution. Definitely. If you redistribute too much, then the system doesn't work because you take the incentive out of it. So it's right. like and a machine. You've always got to tune it right. What about making that tax the, it starting at $250,000? I mean, that... that... Well, I, I, you know, honestly, I, I know I got in a, a, a big argument with Larry Kudlow about this, who I really <laughs> think is a wonderful person. And there's a disagreement about this. I don't think an extra 3.8% is going to uh, change incentives dramatically. But it clearly, I mean, if you look at some of the tax uh, ways they tax people in Europe, clearly, if you have too many taxes and you have too <clears> much <throat> redistribution, then you reduce incentives. So the question is, what is the right balance? Did you see uh, in, in 2013, the average tax bill for a household making a million dollars is going to jump by $46,000. That's just for the health care yeah. part, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah but you're making a million dollars. $46,000 yeah. in discretionary income is not as big as $460 <laughs> for somebody making $10,000. But I guess when when is the tipping point? I guess that's the well, question. Well, that's what you always have to be careful of, and humans humans are always pushing back and forth, hey. and the pendulum swings. Hey, you, know, you know, Governor, we can always, uh, you know, you saw the Nobel laureate Joe Stiglitz. There's different ways of measuring growth anyway, and if we start doing, you know, so months spent in the south of France, uh, add that in, uh, rich creamy sauces, uh, better, better vintage wine. I mean, uh, there's a lot of things we could add Those in for have quality. economic value. Mistresses, mistresses. Right. I mean, there's a lot of things in Europe that they do differently than us that you could add in to, to things in Europe that they do differently than us that you could add in to, to GDP, right? Yeah, I'd right? prefer to. I, I think we had, it'd be nice if we had a stronger manufacturing base, and that's one of the things well, that I that, worry but about. But that's you. I, I <laughs> mean, there are other, I mean a, a, a fresh yeah. croissant? Come on. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Governor, thank you. Appreciate it, uh, your time today. And Fred, um, you got a lot on your mind today. I well, can tell. well, I do. I, I, I find I find that uh, the governor was very refreshing, though, in his honesty and yes. some of these things. I mean, he, he he acknowledges that this is a program to redistribute wealth and well, we, in some ways, and he also. But anyone who voted that, for the president should have known yeah, they that. Should, they, they should have known that, and of course, the costs are going to increase. I think he might be underestimating the impact of these tax increases on job growth and the growth of capital. I mean, you're going to have a 60 percent right. increase in the capital gains tax when you add up to 3.8 plus the expiration of the Bush tax cuts.